Underground Crypto. Hey, it's the Underground Crypto back at it again. And Stella be what? Stella be booming. Today, Stella up close to 50% on the day. Stella took off. Now number 11 was at, I think, close to 23 cents. Right now it's showing up 31% or up 48%, 24 in the 24-hour period right here at 23 cents. It's around 2 o'clock in the morning East, Eastern, Standard, Eastern Standard Time. So Stella is booming right now. And we could see the news that really drove the price here. Yesterday, I mentioned this, Ukraine tapped Stella to develop digital asset infrastructure, including CBDC framework, and also the bullish news on U.S. Fed federal regulators say yes, Banks can conduct payments using stable coins. So this is huge right here. And this is what Stellar Network can do. You know, we already see USDC and others use utilizing Stellar the Sleeping Giant for stable coins. So this is just exciting. And for CBDC, exciting news for Stellar here. Very bullish. And if we go back here also, what we see Cardano up 30% on the day. So Cardano's very bullish. Bitcoin high. So congrats to everyone in the crypto space here. This is an amazing time. We're almost at the trillion mark. So Bitcoin was up to 35,000. I think people are taking profit here. Ethereum's going crazy. VeChain down here, I think, is up 20% on the day. So V chain was at three cents, twenty five cents. So it's just looking lovely now. The alt season has begun. Stella, the sleeping giant, can't be held down. And what's amazing is we see here XRP. They always called Stella the little, the little giant, right? Right now we are twenty three cents above XRP. So that's that's amazing. No longer the little brother. We are the big brother, the giant, Stella. All right, so for today's show, we're going to talk about Stella Von Der. This is Tyler, Tyler Von Der Hooven. And Tyler is a former farmer, a former farmer. And now he heads up the Stellar Quest. So we're going to listen to an interview with him and Sam Connor and Tyler, once I'm, you know, as I mentioned, a former farmer, and he was not making that much money, he said, doing farming because it's during a certain season. So he picked up a book, searched Google, and, teach him how, and taught himself how to code. I know that's how a lot, of, a lot of programmers taught themselves is by looking up Google or learning by themselves there. So also a photographer... lecturer and then he got into stellar development foundation and had an idea so we're going to listen to the interview with him on that so this is was a very uh, amazing interview there with amazing interview with sam connor so sam connor he is a stellar family member so he highlights everything Going on with Stellar and the Stellar blockchain. He's an entrepreneur, investor, and founder of the Stellar Global. And so you could go check him out. Go follow him on Twitter at Sam Connor One. There. So this right here, we can see he interviewed it, interviewed Donnell Dixon right there. So we're gonna dive into the interview here. And as a reminder, we all also given away the 100 XLM. So Brian XLM Juan, that's a user by the way, Brian XLM, reach out to me, giving away another 100 XLM. So make sure to subscribe, like the video to be entered. All right, so we're gonna dive into the video now and look at what Tyler's talking about of how he joined Stellar and what the Stellar, what the Stellar Quest is all about. So we're gonna play three clips of that. All right. 
uh, had this idea to kind of gamify the education part of Stellar. It's, it's difficult to onboard new developers um, into cryptocurrency. It's just very speculative, and a lot of the documents and articles and uh, friends that you have, you know, it's just going to be like, mm, I'm not sure this feels strange and unsafe. Um, and so I came from an industry that wasn't really into cryptocurrency, so I have a lot of developer friends who've never touched it. And so I wanted to kind of have a landing pad or a place that I could send them that was not in any way speculative or invest in this thing. It was just technology. Here's how to use our APIs. Here's our SD. Use the code of the thing to understand what it does before you even need to care necessarily why or how it's going to change the world. Um, and so that was that was kind of the idea behind Stellar Quest, obviously. And you hear the theme there again from Tyler. We hear that we heard that from Danelle Dixon as well. Change the world. Stellar Network. Stellar Development Foundation is built to power the world, change the world. That's how powerful it's going to be. So these prices we're seeing now, 23 cents, that's just the beginning. We're going to get 50 cents, 90 cents, over a dollar. Right, so the next clip that we see here, I asked the question, so we're going to play this clip, and then we're going to play one last clip, and then we're going to wrap it up. Let's see, uh, let's see another question here. All right, so Underground Crypto um, over on our Twitter side. Um, which is great, by the way. I appreciate everybody on, on Twitter and on YouTube uh, taking place on this. Um, so over on Twitter, uh, Tyler, how long can someone access Stellar Quest after Series 2 ends to try it out? Sure. So Series 1 and Series 2, they're evergreen content, so you'll always be able to go through and do the challenges. The only thing that really disappears is the XLM prizes. We have limited pools of XLM prize money to hand out. Um, but the badges will always be available. They actually... All right, so he's saying there, he answered my question. Series 1, you can go back, try that out, but no XLMs. This was a 100 XLM giveaway that they were doing for Stella Quest. Uh, a lot of that has been gobbled up already. I think they'll have one more Series 3, I think. Uh, but you could go back and try that out. And the last clip that I'll play, this is something exciting, something that's coming in 2021 that's also, in my opinion, is going to pump the price. So I'm going to play this, and then we're going to talk about it. This is very exciting. One thing that I, I wanted to, to touch on is what is, is the mind of Tyler working on? we got five minutes. I want to touch on that. Um, I know that earlier in the year, um, you uh, had a, a, a tweet that I would say shut down the internet when you talked about uh, touring contracts and smart touring smart contracts and Stellar. Um, any update on that? Any thoughts that you can share with the folks that are listening? I know that's a, a very uh, excited topic for many people. Yeah, I'd say it'll be a focus of mine, particularly early in um, 2021. Nice. Not just the development of it, but starting to build, really start to formulate um, teams that are actually building production level applications, monitoring, signing oh. servers. Wow. Um, so starting to actually look at how can we use this for production level services and applications, because um, up to this point has kind of been proof of concept and there's been a lot of assumptions that have been made and those need to be tested and then improved on. So it's building that team that's working on those out, finding enterprises that uh, are interested in this kind of technology and then testing the assumptions we've made and the products that we've built so far um, to see how they stand up and how they need to improve. So I, don't, I won't say I'll be leading that team, but I'll definitely be heavily involved in um, moving that forward to ensure that uh, it's in a good place um, to kind of take off from where I, I've put it um, over the past year. That's that's great. Um, that's exciting. I mean, have, have you guys already? Because I, I know it, the important thing is, you know, up until now, I feel even though smart contracts are out there, it's it's been, in, I guess, lack of a better word, more experimental. And I think that you know, having some sort of real world feedback um, is crucial into making sure that you know that these things are actually usable. All right, so that's, there we have it, smart contracts on the Stellar Network. So coming in 2021, and you can check out tss.stellar.org. So this is what Tyler mentioned here. You can look at some of the resources that he has listed down here. Watch the demos and everything. So exciting news for Stellar Network. Stellar, the sleeping giant. It's not going to stop. 
All right, that's a wrap for today. Don't forget, subscribe, like the video, comment for the 100 XLM giveaway. Thanks a ton for watching. Stand clear of the closing doors. The next stop for Stella is the moon. Let's get it. We don't have that much competition. They would use Stellar to make their payments faster.